Hello, and thank you for taking a few moments to familiarize yourself with creating files and folders in Google Drive. At the top of the left-hand side of the screen in Drive, you will notice a red button that says New. Here, we're going to have a variety of options for what we can create. Let's take a look. Creating a folder is simple. Simply tap Create Folder, and it will appear. Name your folder and select Create. Be sure to name items carefully so that your drive does not become messy over time. Careful planning and organization in the beginning will keep you organized in the long run. Remember from our last tutorial that if you would like to color code your files according to different courses or topics, all you have to do is select the folder and a new menu will appear at the top right. The icon with the three dots allow for more actions Go ahead and tap it and select Change Color. You have a variety of colors that you can choose from. And when you're done, go ahead and select the color that you would like. You'll notice that the color now appears on the left hand side of the name of the folder. Now let's take a look at how you create a document. It's important to remember here, if you want to create a document within a specific folder, open that folder before selecting New Document. I'm going to go ahead and add a document into my sample folder. Up here, I now know I'm in my drive and I'm in my sample folder. I'm going to go ahead and select New and go down to where it says Google Docs. A new document will now appear. If you don't select the folder and you just create a document in my drive, it's really not a big deal. You can just move the document to whatever folder you like at a later time. The first step should always be to name your file. You can name your file by clicking Untitled Document on the upper left hand side of the screen. Give your document a name and select OK. Across the screen, you will see all of your formatting options, and your document will automatically save every so often. Google Docs is a fantastic alternative to Microsoft Word for many reasons, but perhaps the most significant one is the ability to collaborate on documents together with your classmates or with your professor. At the top of the left-hand side, there is an option called Editing. When you select this button, a few other options will appear. Here you can select whether you want to directly edit into the document or whether you would like to suggest edits that will then appear as comments on the left hand side. This feature saves you the hassle of multiple emails with revision files that can often be confusing. And best of all, if you want to see the revision history, all you have to do is click on file and select see revision history. We'll talk more about collaboration and documents in our later tutorial. As always, documents are available across all devices, allowing you to work on your files whenever you need to. To access and edit documents on your iPad, be sure to download the Google Docs app. As always, if you have any questions about how to use Drive or Docs, please do come and see me, and I'll be happy to review it with you and answer any questions or concerns you might